The Public Expenditure and Financial Accountability, PIFA for short, that assessment has been very useful worldwide in many countries at the national as well as the subnational level for engaging on a holistic dialogue on public financial management systems and reforms with many governments. The World Bank has been uh, using this tool for many of its uh, engagement and dialogue on PFM along with many other development partners. And um, it basically measures the extent to which the public financial management systems uh, support the achievement of budgetary outcomes. Now, out of the budgetary outcomes that we look at, at least two are very directly related and require public participation. One is the strategic allocation of resources and the second is on service delivery. The PIFA assessment as it is currently designed in terms of the methodology does not have a substantive level of measurement of, the level of public participation and citizen engagement in these processes in the country. And it is good that uh, GIFT is uh, now testing out a version in which uh, they are trying to measure whether uh, public participation is being happening at a meaningful level in countries for these um, budgetary processes. Um, they are trying to measure the public participation in the approval and formulation of the, of the budget, in uh, the appraisal of public investment projects, in the design and delivery of um, services to citizens, and also finally in the review of the budget implementation. This is still in the testing phase and um, it is being tested in the Philippines and uh, I am involved in that along with uh, testing out the new version of the PIFA. It is promising, but it still requires quite a lot of improvement to make it a substantive input to the dialogue with countries on overall PFM reforms and processes so that citizen engagement can also feature prominently in that dialogue. And it's essential for that, for the governments to really move forward on citizen engagement, transparency and accountability.